welcome back to another video everyone so happy you're here uh, today I'm gonna so uh oh oh no oh no um, so I've heard a lot of times I don't know who originally said this quote but I watch a, a lot of Alex Ramosi videos and I know he's said it before, but it's, you take, to become rich, you take a small amount of money, you take a lot of risk with a small amount of money, and you take a little bit of risk with a large amount of money. So, I'm all in <laughs> on trying to make it, guys. I mean... It, everything I mention in this video is definitely for sure not financial advice I don't recommend this to anybody but I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret of what I've been doing what I'm planning to do in the next one ish two years and that <laughs> is I've put a lot of money in crypto so personally to my name I have four thousand in my in like uh, investment account makes a couple percent a year or whatever and then I have my 4000 in credit card debt and then I have my truck debt <laughs> and if you're like actually financially I don't know I have a high risk tolerance so it really doesn't affect me at all and I think the potential return for me could be major but yeah, I've taken out, I got a, two loans, both for $5,000 and I've put it into crypto. Mind you, I've been in crypto, like researching it for the last three years. So I kind of have a feeling that I know what I'm doing. Um, we'll see if that's actually correct, but I'm leaving it all open with you guys. I mean, I'm not going to, like, one day show up with, like, a lot of money and be like, oh, <laughs> well. So I'm letting you know now. I've put 10000 in crypto. Um, I, I've i spent a lot of time in, in crypto, and I, I feel like I know what I'm doing. And I definitely do not recommend you doing this at all because it's, like, it's so... It's so risky. It really is. Like, it's very risky. But, um, another, another thing. So that's my, uh, that's my taking a lot of risk with a small amount of money because this is why I'm doing it. I personally know I can make $10,000 in, I, uh, I have to pay off the loans in two years, I think. Yeah, it's two years. And I know I can make $10,000 in two years. So my plan is basically I'm setting aside, I'm earning the $10,000 and setting it aside in a separate bank account. So if everything went to zero, I'd be able to pay it off either way. So that's what I'm doing. That's how I'm kind of mitigating my risk. And for me personally, $10,000 is a small amount of money. I mean, and I mean, it's a small amount of money in the grand scheme of things because it's, it, it's like, it just is. So that's why I've kind of settled. I don't think I could, so I pretty much made it. So I know I'll be able to pay it off within the two years. So that's why I did $10,000 again, 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 don't do this. You little dirty person. This is my thing, very risky, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. Um, but on this topic, kind of, another thing Alex Ramosi said in this a past um, interview, no, podcast he did with, I think it was um, School of Greatness. I forget how to paraphrase I forget how to phrase this but basically it's like 
Ah, uh, yes. No. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know what I'm, I'm trying to do. Okay. So, erase everything I just said. Not about the crypto. That's a thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, it's really interesting. For when I came back from college, here's a little story time. We're going to go into story time with... Story, chi- story time with Jamers, okay? When I was in college, or I just got out... Sorry, I'm still in college. When I left college and I came home and started living at home again, I was... I don't know what it was about me, but I was really, really hugely into self-development. Like every possible thing I could do cold showers, lifting weights running I honestly think it was because I was listening to um, the G- David Goggins book um, what's it called David's Gog- David Goggins book uh, like the first one he made and I think that's why I was so into self development and recently I've been like I've really just been ignoring it which is I've been trying to figure out why why that is why originally I was so big into it and now I've kind of put it on the back burner but an interesting thing that came up in that podcast with Alex Ramosi and the School of Greatness was like they were talking about like making money and earning your wealth and it kind of answered the question because I was kind of questioning why I ever was in self-development stuff why I wanted to do that and they mentioned that you'd, you'd rather win the game or like if you're on your deathbed <laughs> this is going to get a little dark <laughs> But, like, if you're on your deathbed, you want to look back on... You want to be able to look back on life and know that you gave it your all. Like, how depressing would it be laying on your deathbed, like, way overweight, like, 60 years old, maybe, and just, like... You look back and you didn't try a lick in your whole life. So that's kind of like changed my idea of why self-development would be so good or why it is so good, why I want to get back into it. Because at the end of the day, I want to (laughs) give... You only have one life here on Earth. So I want to give that everything, all my all like all my energy I don't know how to say this but yeah you you understand what I'm saying and that's why I think I really uh, I think this this thing that I'm doing now I mean it, it's I'm gonna keep saying it it's difficult for me to to talk like this while I drive but I really I'm I'm starting to enjoy it I'm getting better at it even in the in the three days I've been doing it I think I've been getting better but if you're you don't if you think self-development is a scam or if you're questioning like I was on why it would even be important in the first place yeah cool you can get jack you can get you can get whatever but at the end of the day you want to look back on your life and really and really know that you gave it your all even if you made a lot of money like don't you don't you think you would feel so much better if you gave your all to trying to make a lot of money not like all but like if you tried your hardest to make a lot of money don't you think that you would feel so much more rewarded than if you like If you just, if some, it, like, basically if you won the lottery, just the first time you won the lottery, I feel like, yeah, it'd be euphoric, but I don't know. Maybe that's not a good exa- example, but I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So, 
I'm really trying to uh, get back into self-development. Start waking up early again. I mean, I wake up at 6.30, but then I, I hit the snooze button, which I know is not good, and I shouldn't be doing that. And going to the gym every day. Obviously, I typically take the weekend. Why do you guys keep falling on me? That's kind of rude. Obviously, I go to the gym every day. Not every day. I take the weekends off. But I'd like to be more consistent rather than going to one or two times a week. I'd rather go like five. I need to go five. Just because I really want to get back into that mindset of like waking up early, no snooze, um, working hard, nose to the grindstone. Just be a hard motherfucker. All right? So... Sorry to cuss on you guys. I, I, um, I do cuss in my uh, my day to day life, so I'm I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I'm not gonna hide stuff from you. Well, yeah. So, um, I did. Uh, you guys did fall on me again, and it stopped recording. But luckily, I caught it. So, I did say that all once before, and I almost start. I was like cracking up when I said what I just said. Um, so, yeah, in this channel, I am going to cuss. Uh, I don't like to do it a lot on here, but I feel like the way our generation is raised, I mean, it's just a whole lot different than, like, when I was growing up. It was like, cussing was like, no bueno, you couldn't do it. But now I feel like, like, everybody cusses. Like, every podcast I listen to, maybe that's just my taste, my style. All the songs, not all songs, but... You guys know what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, keep it real. So, if you uh, you want to get into this whole self-development thing like a little nerd like me, um, join me. If you guys uh, have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll uh, catch, you guys in the, catch you guys in the next one. So... I'm trying to think of like a, a tagline or something I could say. <laughs>